Hey, what's up guys, my name is Fire, and over the past few days, there's been a lot of rumours and leaks about COD 2017 being called Call of Duty World War 2. Now, a lot of these rumours and leaks, and a lot of the hints that we've been getting, seem very, very viable, and all this stuff that we've been getting just seems too much to be a coincidence. Like, we've got new control freaks, which are stars, and they're based in World War 2. We also have this leak, which is Call of Duty World War 2, and it, the cover art, and like the poster and everything for it, looks so good like it looks way too real like if whoever done this even if this is made up is a very 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 talented graphic design art because this thing looks very real and looks very good and also another thing i found out about drifter uh, he said in the call of duty logo every single call of duty logo is different and this one has ball holes now yes they could easily be tweaked in you could have took it from another call of duty logo and put the ball holes in or you could have tweaked some things around like it's not the hardest editing to do i could probably do something like that but but when it comes to the whole like background and everything, this picture hasn't been debunked yet. Nobody has found anything out about it. So it makes it seem a lot more viable and a lot more reliable than any other things we've seen so far. Now another very big convincing thing is one, Michael Condry said he'd really like a World War II Call of Duty, and two, when it was confirmed that Call of 2017 is going to be boots in the ground, they also said it's going to be going back to its roots. And there's no more roots than Call of Duty than World War II. The first four of the first five CODs were World War II. The first Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, and Call of Duty World at War, COD 5, were all World War II games, and that's why bringing it back to World War II is really going back to original originally cause roots. Another topic of mine that I was thinking about actually quite a few days ago, I was thinking about this quite for quite a bit of time now, what happens if they really do make a World War 2 Call of Duty and then they remaster World at War? Are they going to remaster? And I'm going to say this, for remasters and for Raven, because odds are Raven will be remastering a game if it, another remaster does come out, please don't because one, one of my main reasons is I don't want the player base split up, and that's what happened this year. Regardless of if the this year was popular or not, it really split up the player base, and even though a lot of my friends didn't play it, and none of my friends really play COD at this stage, it, it was really annoying, especially at the start of the year. I wanted to play Modern Warfare Remastered, like everyone else was playing Infinite Warfare. It's really annoying. I really don't want the player base split up. I like everyone just sitting at one game, and I don't like that, yeah. Remasters have a place in time, and that's why I said, and a lot of other people have said, if you remaster a game, release it six months down the line. That works fine, but at the same time, it's all about a money thing. They think releasing two games at once, putting them in a package bundle, you can't buy it separately. Ooh, let's make some more money. And as well, I really just don't want to spend like the extra 20, uh, 15, 20 pounds, whatever it is, uh, to get the extra game, which I probably will because I like getting every Call of Duty game. But really, I just want one COD for this year. I don't like having to mix between two of them. I just like one COD, so please keep it at that. But at the same time, are they going to do this? I think they probably are. Now, if it's going to be based in World War 2, I think they might and um, possibly skip to Modern Warfare 2 and leave World War, World War to next year. And the reason I think they're going to do this is because if you have two World War 2 games, it's going to be a little bit funny because one game is going to be pretty much similar, very similar in a lot of respects to the other game. Of course, there's going to be different maps, there's probably going to be different guns, supply drops or whatever is probably going to work differently, all them different things. Yeah, they're going to work differently, but they're going to be very similar in a lot of um, different aspects. But ultimately, if they are going to remaster a game, odds are they'll probably remaster World at War, but... There is definitely a possibility that they could remaster Modern Warfare 2 this year. But anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to smack the like button down below, and subscribe to some more content, and yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.